for those of you who uh, have been fired or had some type of failure, and you think all is lost, I'm I'm I've blown it. The reboot isn't worth it. I'm gonna go drive a milk truck. Does anybody drive a milk truck anymore? By the way, <clears throat> I've got I, you know I, I say things like this, and I'm in this weird seat. Here's a confession to the audience. Being completely transparent, I'm 44 years old. Now, I don't feel 44. Uh, people lie to me or they tell me the truth. I'm not sure which. Say I don't look 44. But I've got, i uh, surrounded by some awesome millennials. Kelly, the marketer, is in studio today. Or not in studio. She's over in the control room across the uh, glass. Uh, Madison, the assistant producer, is screening calls as we speak. She's 24. Kelly's 27. Uh, Era, the writer, 24. Catherine, the social media maven, 21. And I say things like drive a milk truck, and it snaps me out of it, and, and I realize they don't even know what a milk truck is. So there you go. I got to work on my references to make sure that they're they're millennial friendly. All right, back to this information. Uh, this is great. This is some data that um, was reported in the Harvard Business Review. They did a 10-year study of over 2,600 leaders. I'm sorry, CEO Genome. That's who did the study. I want to make sure I give them credit. This is reported in Harvard Business Review. So they did a 10-year study, 2,600 leaders, and almost half of those leaders suffered at least one major career blow-up, like getting fired, messing up a major deal, or just blowing an acquisition. Now, almost half, it's 45% is what's reported, suffered a major career blow-up. Despite the blow up, this is the really good news. 78% of those executives eventually made it to the CEO role. 68% of executives who had not, excuse me, who had been let go, landed in a new job within six months. Even better news, 91% of those executives who had been fired took a job of similar or greater levels of seniority. And here is the most encouraging news. They found signs in the study that the experience of actually losing the job, so the big failure, that experience, when handled the right way, made these folks stronger candidates for future roles. People actually were more willing to hire the CEO who had some failures. Why? Because they know you've been somewhere and you've learned something. Now, why do I share that with you? Why am I giving you that information? Because if that's true of CEOs, it could be true of you. Think about it. They're in a high-profile role. You would think that their failures would disqualify them from leadership, and it doesn't. It makes them more valuable. The other thing I want you to hear is, is that most of them got a job in the same industry uh, and even a better job within six months to a year. So they recovered beautifully, and they look back on it. What I'm not going to give you, I don't have time to go into it, is in the article, they, they go look back on it, and they go, it was one of the best things that ever happened to me. So again, from time to time, I love to give you some data so that you go, okay, Ken's not just giving me a rah-rah speech. There's some science behind this. And, and, and this, this is the fact that I want you to just lock on to. Those of you who are in a season of failure and you think, I've blown it, I'm done. A, you're not done. B, you're going to get back in the game. And C, you're going to be better as a result of all of this. So down the road, you're going to look back on it, and and the pain and the frustration, the shame, the uh, humiliation, whatever it is, that'll all dissipate. And you'll look back fondly on this going, I stepped up and, and stayed the course even after I failed. I got myself back on the horse, if you will. I dusted myself off, got back on the path. That's why I'm sharing that information with you. And there's a lot of you out there that need to hear that message today. Now, here's what's not in that data, but it's obvious I just touched on it. The key is to get back in the game. Hey, there's lots of famous and wealthy and powerful people who have blown it, and they got back in the game. And they look back on it and go, it was good for me. So in those seasons where you don't want to try to find something positive, it just feels yuck and you feel down, it is the mature 
long view men and women who realize that the season of failure can be what I need to propel myself forward. Fail forward. John Maxwell wrote it that way in a book. He renamed the book years later. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Love both titles. And he's right. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. You notice the word lose is not in there. And this data from Harvard Business Review, CEO Genome Study, backs that up. 